They're in a big bookstore in the station building. Yuri is looking over a shelf of novels. Yuri and Ichiro meet in the same aisle. Hi! Long time no see. Hi. It was fun last night, wasn't it? For a moment, the two are confused. Something is not right. Ota Ichiro is one of her schoolmates from junior high school. Yori is now 17 and in high school. A long time. We met yesterday. Have you forgotten already? Or are you so much in love with me that a day seems like a lifetime to you? Stop joking around. It's been almost a year since I last saw you. Yuri and Ichiro have been very close to each other since their junior high school days, so she can tell whether or not he is joking. Clearly, he is not. What? But last night we... Hold on. There must be a misunderstanding. We'd better talk this over. Why don't you come over to my place? It's been a long time. Just a minute. Let me just pay for this book. 1,200 yen. Let's go. She urges him, holding the book in her hand. You enjoy reading as much as ever, don't you? Well, yes. But I don't see ghosts. Me neither. It wasn't a ghost. It was really you. Ichiro is sure that the girl he met looked just like Yuri. Girl called Tanaka Yuri and looking exactly like me met Ichiro. That is very strange. In Yuri's room... Come to think of it, there was something strange about her. Thanks. A bit too strong, maybe. Bitter tea for someone who doesn't recognize me. Come on. She was your carbon copy. The moment I saw her, I thought it was you. But she didn't recognize me. I was shocked. No wonder. She was someone else. But she soon joined our conversation and we talked a lot. Ichiro was at his friend's birthday party the night before when he met the other Yuri. Did she tell you where she lived? No. She came along when I left the party. I said I would walk her home, but she said she was all right. We parted in front of my house. And the girl knows where Ichiro lives. She said something when she left. I can't quite remember. She said something and I said, What do you mean? Then she said, It's like a magic word. If I say it, I'll be able to see you again. Oh, that sounds romantic. A girl so much like me. Well, I may have a twin sister. <laughs> she means it as a joke. But unless she has a twin sister, how can there be another Yuri? Ichiro has to leave because he has to write a paper. Yuri sees him to the front door. See you. Oh, yes. What is it? Now I remember what she said. She said, Emmett. I don't know what it means, but she sure said, Emmett. Yuri said that the girl that I met was not her. Who do you think the Yuri I met was? The real Yuri who was teasing you. Another Yuri who came from the other world. Just another girl who happened to look very much like Yuri. If that's true, don't you think she's kind of mean? Another Yuri. But what is the other world anyway? 
It's hard to believe that there is another girl who looks so much like Yuri. Maybe she has a twin sister. The girl and I talked a lot. If the girl I met was not Yuri, why do you think she pretended to be Yuri? Just for fun. Because she wanted to become Yuri. Because she didn't want to separate from you. She sure had a great time then. What's the use of becoming Yuri anyway? Come on. It was my very first time to see her. How could she think that? Then she said that strange word, Emmet. What do you think the word Emmet is? A magic word to see you again. Your real name. A password. You think that she really meant that? Yes. Maybe she's a very romantic girl. Do I have a real name besides Ichilo? Well, am I dreaming or what? Huh. Then I want to know when and how to use the password. Yuri is back in the basement of the big bookstore. The door is hidden behind piles of books. As the heavy steel door opens, a sweet fragrance comes out. It is the same scent. Yuri turns around to make sure there's no one following and goes in through the door. Yuri's standing on the dirt ground just inside the door. This is her second visit here. Now that she has heard the word Emmet again, she can't keep herself from coming down here. Besides, she knows that someone like her has come from the world of Emmet. She remembers that the boy once told her that she looked like his mother. Tell me one thing before you go. Do I remind you of anyone you know? Yes. My... My mother. The girl Ichiro met and thought to be Yuri may have been his mother. She hesitates for a moment, but crouches down to wipe away the dust on the ground. The same old wooden door comes through. Yuri remembers how she opened the door last time. She picks up a small stone and writes, Emmet, on the door. Now the door is ready to open. Yuri holds the iron pull ring on it. She takes a deep breath and pulls the door up with all her strength. Ah! All of a sudden, the door is thrown open and she falls back. Out! How come it's so easy this time? She looks through the doorway and sees a mirror. There she finds her own face. A moment later, she realizes that it isn't a mirror. To her amazement, she finds there's another face exactly like hers looking at her from inside. It's so unexpected that she doesn't know what to do. Well, hello. Hi. Good to see you here. In a blink of an eye, the girl seizes Yuri by the arm and pulls her through the hole into the unknown depths. Yuri falls to the ground and faints. Oh, that hurts. It's all dark. What happened to me? She remembers that a girl looking exactly like her pulled her into the hole. It's dark up above, and the door above her looks closed. She feels she's fallen quite a distance. I met that girl up there. There must be a ladder or something. But I can't see a thing. 
A dim light comes from far ahead in the tunnel. That's where the other world lies. Yori hesitates for a moment, but she soon realizes there's no use just sitting there because she can't get out of the hole. I'll go. She cheers herself up and slowly makes her way through the tunnel. The tunnel seems to go downhill and becomes deeper. As she moves on, the fragrance grows stronger. In the blink of an eye, the girl, the mother, grabbed me by the arm. Why do you think the mother pulled me into the hole? Because she wanted to get rid of you. Because that's one way of greeting in the world of Emmett. Because she was angry to see someone who looked so much like her. But why? I didn't do anything wrong to her, did I? I knew they were strange. That's highly possible. She may have been angry, but still, did she have to push me down that way? Finally, she finds herself at the bottom of a vacant pit with daylight shining down. There's nothing she can use to get to the top. What can I do? Oh! <laughs> Suddenly the ground starts to move upward and it lifts her up to the top of the pit. It feels just like an elevator. The exit on the other side might be like this too. The ground comes to a gentle stop, and she finds herself in a small room with a door right in front of her. Slowly, Yuri opens the door. So, you're back. In front of her are two men in uniform, like policemen. We've been waiting for you. What? It is a serious offense to go over to the other world without permission. Didn't you know that? I... As she tries to explain, she feels something sting her arm, and she passes out. All of a sudden, I was caught by those men in uniform. Who do you think those men in uniform were? Policemen, prison guards, secret agents. They sure looked like policemen, but what did I do to be arrested? I wasn't in prison. If they were prison guards, why did they come after me? Do I know any secrets? What do the secret agents want from me? She's coming, too. This is a familiar voice. Who could it be? Light is getting into Yuri's eyes. She gradually focuses on her surroundings. She finds herself lying somewhere new. It's fairly comfortable lying there. She blinks and looks around. Are you all right, Mom? Mom? Could I be this old man's mom? She is offended and about to protest. But she remembers that in this world, old men become young as they grow up. Oh! This man must be the boy she helped come back to this world. And this must be his younger days. You are the... Shh. Please pretend that you're my mother. Otherwise, we won't be able to get out of here. The room seems like a holding place for keeping somebody who is under arrest. What shall I do? Leave it to me. Just pretend you don't know anything. They're coming.
The door opens. The two men in uniform come in. Are you sure she's your mother? Yes, she's my mother. I'm sorry she caused you trouble. Well, she can go this time. From now on, be careful. I'm terribly sorry. Maybe she is too old. Yuri is offended, but she doesn't show it. She knows she is in the other world. But it is still unkind and even strange for a girl of 17-year-old to be called old. Finally, she is set free. Once she's out, she's puzzled. Because what she sees there is just what she is used to seeing in her own world. Cars running, people walking to and fro, and the blue sky up above. Is this where you live? That's right. My name is Ken. You are Julia. Julia. That's your mother's name, right? Right. For now, let's just go home. She starts walking fast. Walk more slowly. You're an old lady. You shouldn't look so energetic. All right. Although she isn't sure how to fake it, she tries to walk like an old woman. Indeed, at a closer look, something seems odd about this place. Children are walking slowly, and the older people seem full of energy. I feel strange. You know what? Your mother is visiting our world. I know. She's been so reckless. Since I went over to your world by mistake, she's been anxious to go there too. And the other day, she sneaked out. I know. I hear she's taking my place. That's the problem. She met somebody there. A man. She fell instantly in love with him. So she may not want to come back. It must be Ota Ichiro. He's a friend of mine. She has taken your place and may have told your friend that she loved him. That's ridiculous. Take it easy. You have something else to worry about. Don't forget, you're also growing a year older each day. His word makes Yuri stop walking and remain motionless in surprise. As long as I'm here in the world of Emmett, I'm getting one year older each day, and I just can't stand it. What do you think I need to do to get back to my world? Negotiate with the guards. Sneak out through the tunnel. Look for another tunnel. That's one way, but I can't believe they would listen to me. That's sure risky but it may be worth taking a shot at. Another tunnel. I've never thought of that. It might be a good idea. Where in the world would it be? We can't possibly make it. I'll give it a try. I just can't wait any longer. I know how you feel, but... An old building is seen in the darkness of the night. Ken and Yuri are hiding themselves nearby. The building is in such bad condition that it looks like it may fall down at any moment. There appears to be no sign of life in the building, but if you watch closely, you can see some people moving about inside. The guards who arrested Yuri are carefully watching the entrance. It's already been three days since her arrest. Yuri comes here every night to try to sneak into the building, but her attempts are in vain.
There seems to be a slight dimensional gap between this world and my world. I don't understand what this is all about. But one thing is very clear. This is that I am growing a year older day by day. And that Julia has been living in my world, in my place, these three days. Furthermore, as long as I stay in this world, Julia can live like me in the other world. It means she won't get younger as Ken did before. If nothing is done about this, Julia may eventually take over for me. Just think of it. I was 17 three days ago. Now I'm already 20. <sighs> I can't wait any longer. You'll be killed if they find you. But what else can I do? <coughs> Who's there? They heard you. Instantly, Yuri catches the cat and throws it away. It's just a cat. Far away, thunder rumbles, and it soon begins to rain. Rain! Now I can go. Don't! It's too risky. Don't worry. I'll make it somehow. Thanks for worrying about me, my boy. Yuri smiles and touches him on the shoulder. Yuri sees the cat running into the building for shelter. Now! Yuri rushes out with her head down low as if she was taking cover under the rain. Her future is calling her. She leans herself against the door and looks in. There are two guards with guns in their hands, but they are busy playing with the cat that has just jumped in from the rain. Help! It was Ken. The guards rush out of the building. Ken is trying to attract their attention. One guard runs out into the rain, and the other stands watching by the door. <laughs> then, Yuri dashes into the building. There's the door! She opens it to the elevator leading down to the tunnel. Stop, or I'll shoot! Yuri ignores the voice and gets inside. She looks for the button to make the elevator go down. Where is the button? Footsteps are coming up. Blindly, she gropes along the wall. The floor under her feet begins to shake, and finally it starts moving downward. <sighs> Thank God I made it. But the ground is moving down too slowly. She can see the guard above aim at her with his gun. Then comes the sound of gunfire in the pit. <laughs> 